Hi, I am Tommaso Lisini from the University of Siena. I am glad to be here to virtually present this work entitled Hang Islands in Grasping Metaphor and Wearable Atlas. This work proposes the idea of suggesting and orientation combined vibrations and an easy to learn approach. A virtual object and a virtual aesthetic range are used to rent the hand. Indeed, the subject is trained to align the perceived range along with the gravity. As you may see in the video, a user is rotating the hand, exploiting vibrating timbals. The gold and the upper orientation are reported on the plot with blue and green arrow respectively, while on the right side is the participant using the system. We exploited the tiny and ugly wearable haptic timbals, like this one. Each timbal is composed of a vibro model enclosed on a 3D printed support. The advantage of wearing a so small device is that we do not have problem in training the hand with camera based or similar approaches. To guide the orientation of the hand, the system takes advantage of a virtual branch. So, given the hand with an arbitrary fingertips configuration, like this one, a software collects data from a tracking system and estimates the contact point. The algorithm computes a virtual sphere fitting three points, the three fingertips. We know that it's always possible to find a sphere matching this point. Then, giving the desired new hand orientation, a virtual branch is generated and applied to the virtual object. As soon as the wrench is placed, mathematical computation, based on the grasping theory, is performed to generate the haptic cues. The timbots vibrate in accordance with the wrench direction, thus the user has to align the perceived branch along with the gravity. We tested two different policies for the feedback generation. The former generates vibration with an intensity proportional to the norm of the contact forces while the second approach generates vibration with an intensity depending only on the normal component of the contact force. Additionally, we tested two different modalities to inform the user about the reaching of the desired orientation. In the first one, the vibrations were maintained constant until the goal orientation is reached. Differently, the second approach modulates the intensity proportionally to the orientation error. Participant tested all the feedback modalities combinations that are listed on the slide. So they tested the norm of the contact force with constant and variable intensity, and the normal of the contact forces with constant and variable intensity. Results and user experience show that to give information about the actual orientation is crucial to accomplish the task in minor time. Beside the quantitative results, user's opinion pointed out an evident preference for this policy. Thanks for listening.